Where's my car? Mario Kart is one of Nintendo's most profitable franchises. Starting in 1992 on the Super Nintendo, Super Mario Kart was the first of the Mario Kart series. From that point on, Mario Kart was a must-have on future Nintendo consoles, each copy selling better than the last. Mario Kart was a series that would release almost every five years from that point forward. That is, until 2014. In 2014, a Wii U exclusive was released, Mario Kart 8. Mario Kart 8 was a phenomenal game. The new gravity changing mechanic was introduced very smoothly, and it brought back the glider and underwater mechanics from Mario Kart 7. Then, when the Nintendo Switch was released, Mario Kart 8 was brought over to the Switch with new and better features. So, why not just release a new Mario Kart on the new console? Well, take a look at it this way. Mario Kart 8 was on a console that didn't do so hot. But Mario Kart 8 was also a really good game. Also, the Nintendo Switch is a multiplayer based console. I mean, heck, it's got two controllers on it from the get go. And it released with a pretty weak multiplayer launch lineup like, whoa, 1 2 Switch, whoop de doo. The answer was right in front of them. Mario Kart being one of the best multiplayer user friendly experiences already developed, and not enough people got to play it because it released on a poor selling console. And this new console was lacking exclusive multiplayer experiences. So Nintendo did the obvious and re-released Mario Kart 8 on the Nintendo Switch with an improved battle mode and new characters and slightly tweaked features. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe went on to being the best selling game on the Nintendo Switch and the last Mario Kart game to release. But that means the last fully new Mario Kart game to release was in 2014 on the Wii U. That's a long time to go without a new Mario Kart and a long time without any mention of a new one at all. So, it's been eight years at the time of recording since a new Mario Kart, and fans are starting to wonder what on earth is happening with Mario Kart. And the answer to that is anything else. That's right, a spin off series is getting a spin off series of its own. First up, we have Mario Kart Live Home Circuit, an RC car released for the Nintendo Switch during Mario's 35th anniversary. It's a Mario Kart game where you drive around an RC car with a camera on it, and the AR camera lets you see other computer racers and obstacles through your Nintendo Switch. It's a super cool device, and it's a ton of fun to use. You can build and design your own tracks, you can explore with the car itself, and you can even play up to four player local multiplayer. That is, if you have enough carts, each one is a hundred dollars. But still, overall, a super cool experience. It's just not normal Mario Kart. Next, Mario Kart also did something it should have done a little while ago. Went to the phone. Mario Kart Tour released as Mario Kart's first mobile phone game, and it was... Eh. Okay, here's the problem. Mario Kart Tour is riddled with microtransactions, and it shifted the Mario Kart formula into something that doesn't exactly sit right with most players myself included. It's a weird score based formula where it's not as much focused on getting first as it is getting more points. Also to make matters worse, at launch you couldn't even play with friends. So what was the point? And if you thought they were doing anything in their power to avoid releasing a new Mario Kart, well this is just the tip of the iceberg. In Japan and opening in multiple other locations worldwide, a real life Mario Kart experience at Universal Studios is opening up. And you thought an RC car was a wild choice. That's right, it seems like Nintendo is doing literally anything in their power to avoid releasing a new Mario Kart game, and fans are starting to get mad and wonder, where on earth is a new mainline Mario Kart and why is it taking so long? Now I don't know for sure, I'm just some random 20 year old and I'm only speculating. But let's start right out with the obvious. No Nintendo console has more than one Mario Kart on it, because think about it. Mario Kart appeals heavily to the casual audience, so when a parent goes to buy their kid a new game and they see a new Mario Kart for the same console, they're automatically going to think, oh, a new Mario Kart? Well, we already have one of those for the Nintendo Switch. This will automatically bring down sales, and that's the last thing you're going to want with one of your best-selling franchises. So, what I think is going to happen is Nintendo's going to wait to release a new Mario Kart game when the new console comes out. Now, what exactly does that entail? Well, Nintendo has already announced in multiple interviews that the Switch is only halfway through its lifespan, and to be honest, that makes perfect sense. The Nintendo Switch is a wonderful idea for a console. Not only are two controllers always attached to it, but you can take this thing anywhere you want and play it at home on the TV. So it's no wonder they aren't releasing another console for a good while. Like, where do you even go from here? And not to mention, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is still selling extremely well. It hasn't slowed down since it was released. Now you can say, if something's selling so well, that's why you release another one. Well, yes, while that is true, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is selling really well. Well enough to justify the eight plus year hiatus that Mario Kart has been taking. I mean, heck, 
Mario Kart 8 and 8 Deluxe has made its way to being one of the best selling games of all time. Now with that, the other thing to consider is where can Mario Kart go from here? Now yes, you could easily just release a new Mario Kart with new tracks and not much else, but come on. It's Nintendo, they're gonna add some new gimmick or spin to make things interesting. But think about it, Mario Kart 8, there isn't any limit to what you can do in this game. You can drive on land, underwater, upside down, and even glide through the air. It's gonna be really hard for them to figure out what exactly to do next. Impossible? No! Difficult? Yes! Here's the biggest problem with not releasing a new Mario Kart. I love Nintendo, I really do. They release great games and have wonderful characters, but they are the absolute worst with communicating with their fans. Like take the future of 2022 for example. While 2022 has been a great year for Nintendo games, we have no idea what's yet to come. Let's see, we have Breath of the Wild 2, which keep in mind doesn't come out in 2022, and Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope which is being developed by Ubisoft, not Nintendo. So it makes the fans angrier that Nintendo doesn't communicate anything with them, like anything at all. So it could help just a little if we had a little more information on, well, anything. But I think Nintendo realized that fans were getting pretty upset that there isn't a new Mario Kart, because within the next year and a half, Nintendo is releasing 48 tracks for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which will double the number of tracks that are already in the game. And that pack released for the shockingly low amount of $25. And those courses will be released in packs of eight by the end of 2023. Now, looking at the tracks themselves, the graphics are a little lesser than the main game, and this caused outrage amongst fans. It's a very hot debate right now. People are mad that the tracks aren't of the same quality as the main game, and how do I feel about it? I mean, new tracks are new tracks. You're not playing a Nintendo console for the graphics. But I do understand the complaint here. So to pull it all together, why do I think there's not a new Mario Kart? Well, one, lack of ideas, and two, no new Nintendo console to put it on. While it's extremely upsetting that we haven't got a new Mario Kart, from a business perspective, I feel it makes sense. Why waste all that time to release it on a console that already has a Mario Kart that's still selling insanely well? And with that, what do you do with the next Mario Kart? Where do you go from here? But let's be honest, it would be so much better if Nintendo would communicate anything with us. Like let us know, hey, there's something on the way, or even something like dropping the next booster course pack. It's been like four months. But either way, this was all based on my opinion. And while I would love a new Mario Kart, unfortunately, I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Well, I hope Tyler didn't need his car.